What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the vertical line test to determine if a graph is a function, all right? So the vertical line test basically just says if you draw a single vertical line through any graph, it can only intersect that graph at a single point, okay? If you draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph and it intersects it at two or more points, then it is not a function. But if a vertical line, again, only intersects the graph at a single point, then it is indeed a function, okay? So for this first example right here, you can see that we can draw a vertical line anywhere through the graph and it's only gonna intersect it at a single point, right? I can move it over here, still just a single point, right? Doesn't matter where I draw it, it's always just a single point. So this first graph definitely is a function. Okay, now what about this next example? So as you can see, we have a like a sideways parabola, right? And as you can see, if we draw a vertical line somewhere through this graph, you see it intersects it at two or more points. Okay, so since we can draw a vertical line that intersects this graph at two or more points, that means this graph is not a function, right? Now what about this one? This is an upside down problem. So with this one, it's a little bit different, right? So again, if we draw a vertical line, you can see it only intersects it at one point, right? It doesn't matter where we draw this vertical line, it's always going to intersect it at just a single point, all right? So this one is a function, all right? Now what about this graph down here? Well, as you can see, we have a circle. So if we draw a vertical line through a circle, you'll see it's going to intersect it at exactly two points. Okay, so that means this one is not a function. Now here for this next graph, you can see that I drew this little green line right here, dashed line, and this just represents an asymptote, all right? So graphs, remember, get really close to asymptotes, but they never actually touch. Okay, so if I draw a vertical line, let's say over here, that's totally fine, right? Because as you can see, it only touches it at a single point. Okay, and since we have this asymptote here, we know that this graph right here, this part of the graph, is not going to ever cross over this green line, right? So it's never going to touch this vertical line, right? If I extend this vertical line all the way to the top forever, this one is never going to somehow touch up there, okay? Because we know, again, that we have this asymptote here, right? that this graph will never touch. So this one's just gonna get closer and closer to that green line, but never actually touch it. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter where I draw this vertical line. I can draw it there, right? Just a single point. I can draw it on this side of the graph, right? We could draw it here. Again, just a single point right there. So it doesn't matter. So again, that means this graph is a function. All right, now for this last one, you can see we have two lines graphed. So again, if we draw a vertical line, let's say through here, we only touch this line at a single point, right? If we draw a vertical line through here, we only touch it at a single point. However, if I draw a vertical line, uh, what is the spot? It looks like one at X is equal to one, right? So if we draw a vertical line right here through X is equal to one, it looks like it touches both of these lines, both of these linear graphs. However, you might notice that this linear graph has a closed circle right here at x is equal to one, and this one has an open circle, right, at x is equal to one. So really, this vertical line only touches this one right here because it has a closed circle, but it doesn't actually touch this linear graph because it has an open circle right there. Okay, so if you wanna think about the domain, what would be the domain of this linear graph right here on the left? Well, it looks like it's going back basically towards negative infinity, right? So we would say that the domain of this line or this graph would be from negative infinity all the way to one, right? That's where it ends, at x is equal to one. And we would include one because we have an, a closed circle right there, right? So we would say it goes all the way to one and we would put a bracket around there because again, it does include one. Now, if we talk about the domain of this linear graph, well, as you can see, it starts at one, right? And then it heads off into that direction towards positive infinity, right? So towards positive infinity. And we would put a parenthesis around this one because we have an open circle here, right? So that means it doesn't actually include the number one. 
So then that means this vertical line really only touches one function, and it would be this one on the left. Okay, so since we're really only touching this graph at a single point, then that again means that this is a function. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.